Hey everyone, my name is Nikki and I'm a rare plant owner and enthusiast located in Ontario, Canada. Here to talk about what I believe to be the most underrated plant is. Definitely not her, clearly. So let's go and actually get the real underrated plant that is the star of the show today. One second. Epipremum panatum variegata. Okay, so hear me out. <laughs> I know that these aren't exactly like necessarily a common house plant, but I feel that these are super underrated. Epipremnums are similar care to your everyday pothos. They're easy to maintain and they're really not too fussy. I have a couple here, but I want to include a mature clip so that you can see what these really look like once they get larger. With the variegation craze that's going on right now and more people that are getting into rare plants, I feel like these are going to be going up in cost within North America in the next year or two. That's just my prediction. The care for these are pretty minimal. Medium, indirect, bright light. Uh, let them dry in between watering. They like to dry out thoroughly. I put them in a like medium aeroid mix. It's a little bit chunky, but not too, too chunky. I just has a little bit of extra for the aeration. And the humidity just above 40%. I haven't had any issues with crisp in my personal plants. I keep my humidity at my house between like 35 to 50%, depending on the weather outside. Um, these ones are imports that came in couple of months ago so some of them do have some shipping damage um, and they're still recovering from that but these as I said aren't the best specimens but we'll see as you can see they do have a gorgeous white variegation on their leaves and the leaves do become like quite elongated they do get the holes in them as well as the fenestrations when they become more mature so they're beautiful as with any variegated plants, if you give it too little light, the green will actually take over and it'll start producing less white variegation. The reason for that is the plant is seeking more chlorophyll or the plant is seeking more light through the chlorophyll in the leaves. So the more light that you give it, the more likely it's going to try and produce more white to offset the bright setting. If you give it less light, it's gonna produce a lot more green, though this is also very much dependent on the variegation in your stem. My stems are highly variegated. As you can see there, they're about half green, half white, which is a very nice mix so that you have the beautiful green for the chlorophyll as well as the white, because she's a showstopper. Now I know that these aren't cheap by any means, but with how much variegation, fenestrations, and the what the mature form looks like, I feel like these are actually really underrated. You don't see them a lot on plant groups. Not a lot of people have them, but like when they get the fenestrations, you can kind of see one right there. When they get more mature and get the fenestrations and have like a more mature form, these are absolutely stunning plants. They are, they're complete showstoppers. Like absolutely, absolutely stunning. This plant is probably one of my favorite plants aside from my variegated, um, my variegated Addisonii. I almost, I almost like this one better. You can grow them up poles, you can grow them as like a cascading plant. There's just so many different ways that you can play with her. If you enjoyed my clip today, the information for my channel will be linked below in the description. And I love you all. Thanks, bye. That's what she does. Oh